Hey everyone, this is Nick from QBM, and on this video, we're just going to go ahead and uh, get everyone familiar with the GeoVision Live View screen. It's kind of the home screen of, of GeoVision. So the first thing you'll see, obviously, is your camera matrix, is what it's called. Right now we're set up to a quad mode with four cameras. If we come down here and look, we can see the single camera. And then you can get a four camera division and so on. You can split it out to multiple, multiple cameras. If we go above that, we'll see numbers one through 16. What that signifies is each camera. So if we go ahead and click on the one, that corresponds with camera one and that pulls us up full screen into the GeoVision right here and you can do that with two or three however many cameras you have each at a time now if we come down here and look we'll see the power symbol we can go ahead and click on that and from there we can get to our login or change user screen we can log out from our existing user we can minimize GeoVision we can restart it and we can exit GeoVision altogether. If you go over here to the right, you'll see admin, QBM, demo, and VR. What these two represent is A, the name of our DVR right here, and B, the user that we are signed in with. So if you were signed in under a user with a personal name, say, my name Nick, it would show Nick right here and then the name of the device and we'll come down to our bubble menu down here you'll see these six bubbles and this first one what this shows it's under the monitor tab you'll see stop all monitoring and it'll show however many cameras you have connected and showing at the time each one with the check next to it is being monitored right now which means it's being recorded you can stop all monitoring by clicking the top up here or you can start all monitoring if you're not recording by clicking the top up here and it will say start all monitoring. Our next device bubble is the schedule bubble and what this lets you do is go ahead and set up recording schedules uh, we'll get into that a little bit further it's pretty thorough but for these purposes we're just getting you familiar with the idea of what it is. The next one you'll see a little tools you know a little hammer a little screwdriver what this gets us into is all of our system configuring, general settings, tools. This is uh, where you do a lot of the settings and programmings of GeoVision. In other videos, we've shown you this bubble to the right of that, the magnifying glass. This is our view log. This is where you would get to your stored footage. And then we'll go to the one next to this. This tab is our camera scan. What that lets you do is it almost sets up the cameras to cycle on a loop. So every few seconds it'll cycle through, say you had eight cameras connected, it'll go through each one every couple seconds and scan through. This last one is our network tab. What this helps us do is get into all our settings when we're setting up our re remote view capabilities. So uh, other computers outside the network or on the network that you want to view remote footage from, uh, if we were going to set up uh, the the apps for smartphones or Android phones, um, all of that would be controlled through here, all the settings for that. If you look up top here, you can go ahead and see that it, it's, go, it's showing our, our dates and our time and how much recording we have available left on our hard drive. Um, most computers are set to what's called loop record so that as your recording fills up it will drop the oldest recording and pick up the new recording in a big circle so when you see that don't freak out that you're not going to be saving anymore it's going to still be recording and that's basically the overview of the live view screen uh... thank you for watching